Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show um, something that uh, was really neat. Uh, this is a Bodkin's idea and my idea combined. And I've got my little cap pulser that is run by a neon here and an SCR, which is what Nat gave me the idea for that. So it's a combination of Nat and Bodkin's and then me, lid motor, coming up with this. But I am not using the ground now on this circuit now. I went right to the coil on the bulb right there. See that coil right there? And this was Bodkin's idea, is to go in and tap the voltage on that bulb. And it does not affect the brightness, and it doesn't, it's, it, at least on my circuit, doesn't affect the amp draw. And then I, this is the little uh, mini box here. And I made a plate inside the lid here. Let's see if I can show it to you carefully. There's the plate inside the lid. And um, this is what's picking up the, the, the electricity that's flying around in that box coming off that coil. It's charging and collapsing, charging and collapsing. And this is an induction, I'm pretty sure. What we're seeing here is induction current. And it should be drawing more juice, but it's not. It's just a, a run and run and run the test, and it doesn't draw any more power. Uh, because it's not a closed loop circuit. It's just coming out here and that's picking up the back end. That's the ground part of this coming right off the bulb. I was using the earth ground, but when Bodkin showed that vi those videos of the loop on the on the tube, it gave me the idea and sure enough it worked. That's just the ground lead coming in here to a bridge rectifier. I'm not using diodes like he, uh, he is doing. I'm using a bridge rectifier. And then I'm going into this um, automotive type um, cap. It's probably a three, four hundred um, volt uh, low microfarad cap. And then I'm going into supercapacitors. That's a 2.5, I'm sorry, a 5 volt, 20 farad, not microfarad, 20 farad supercapacitor. And then um, I've got it captured with this pulse. And I was using batteries with it, and uh, you know the the uh, half dead batteries to um, fill up the uh, here's the the batteries I was using these batteries uh, light's not very good in here, but these batteries I was using um, um, to suck the energy into the supercapacitors. But then I found out that on on what I'm doing right here, I can just let this thing run, and it works quite well. Now these are little LED. Um, Christmas tree light bulbs and I've just got this hot wired there's no uh, batteries in there and check this out there we go now there's no batteries in this circuit whatsoever this is pulling energy off of that tube that CFL tube the high voltage coming off of that it it comes in uh, anywhere from uh, 40 50 60 up to 150 volts depending on how I set up the the mini box circuit there, but uh, this is um, captured energy that I've captured on this uh, blue plate special circuit that I've shown in the other videos, and that will hold that brightness. It goes down to about two and a half volts and just sits there, which is real interesting that it would do that. But anyway, that's um, the latest thing that I've played with is this um, thing that Bob. Bodkins, Nat, and me, Lid Motor, came up with of capturing uh, extra energy off of that CFL circuit. Real neat stuff.